It is uh, 616 right now. Betsy Clean is spring or something like that continues here. Something like that, literally. In Northeast literally. Ohio. <laughs> yeah, and I know a lot of people see that video and they go, oh, a tornado in New Orleans, and then you hear, hey, we have a tornado watch. Woo, what's going on? And and I think this is, you know, where you kind of have to go, okay, they are in a little bit different part of the atmosphere than we are. We kind of have a squirrely situation setting up. They were in a much more dynamic environment, so much more heat and moisture to work with. That being said, we still have plenty of heat going on with temperatures in the 50s this time of the year. That's uh, part and parcel with where we should be. Temperatures are going to hold steady through the evening, but we do have the scattered rain and thunder that we have going on. We do have some thunderstorms to talk about. Not a whole lot of lightning showing up at this point. We have had a few areas with uh, some lightning, but out to the west, this is the more potent line of storms that will be sweeping through, and this is really kind of the one to watch. We have already seen a severe thunderstorm warning that is impacting southern portions of Richland County and Ashland County. That storm is just now starting to reach your area, so uh, we kind of get a little bit closer here. Let me uh, zoom in for you and we'll track it uh, as this thing is moving about 60 miles per hour. So these thunderstorms are really moving quick uh, and we have a ton of uh, wind that's going to help to propel them. So let me get my little fan here and we will track it out. Let's take it right out of the center of that right up toward the Vermilion Township area. And there you see that we get into Gatton Rock and Perrysville and Charles Mill and Vermilion areas. So uh, there is a lot of areas here that have uh, some nice neighborhoods and some, you know, little bergs that this this could be passing through with some heavy rain, some high wind gust potential. And yeah, there is that possibility of some hail that's uh, coming down in this too. And then farther to the east, this is where we're mostly dealing with just good old fashioned downpours at this point. But we do have the potential still for, to see an uptick in some of these. We've seen uh, the possibility of some rotation as far as the atmospheric conditions go. But I don't see any evidence of rotation here in immediate northeast Ohio as of right now. There is drier air that is sitting just just to the northeast of us. And as those rain and thunderstorm uh, complexes and cells move northeast, they kind of dissipate a little bit. So we're really aiming our attention in areas west and south of Cleveland. You can see the rotation with this entire storm system. This is just incredible to see. And in the larger broad scale rotation, there's smaller areas of rotation. So this is a very complex system that's still going to take a couple days to get out of here in total. But once it does finally get out of here, it's not only going to take all of the energy that's feeding into these thunderstorms, that's this red zone that you see here, but it's also going to change the wind direction on us. So the broad scale wind flow across eastern parts of America are dominated by this storm system that is moving through our area right now. That's also important because it is moving a whole lot of air around. It's been moving the heat northward to get us uh, toward the 60 degree mark today, but boy, it's really pulling some cold air southward and that will be here as we head through the rest of the week and into the weekend. Here's your national design mark hour by hour forecast. Stop it at eight o'clock. That line that is just now coming into our area should be over toward the state line area. We get a break from some of these thunderstorms, but we're not quite done yet with the rain. We still have some scattered rain chances as we head through the evening. It'll be gusty and blustery outside of where the rain and the rumbles are happening. By the time we hit midnight, temperatures down to about 50 or so. We'll hold on to mainly cloudy skies with some scattered showers from time to time to start the day tomorrow. And that may linger as we get into the afternoon, but these are going to be very few and far between. And I do think we aren't going to end up having uh, maybe just more classified as spits and sprinkles than anything else. I know that's not the best way to classify it, but there you go. Union Home Mortgage Forecast, There's, there goes the heat. 50s tomorrow, 40s on Friday. Yes, there's a little snow chance as we head into the weekend too. By Sunday, Monday, temperatures not making it out of the mid-30s. Russ? Uh, that's where there's something like that part of spring pops up. Mm -hmm. All right, Betsy, thanks.